On this video, Bill's going to talk to you about how he is trying to fix our wind guard. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. Let's go to Bill. All right, we have the wine, wine or wind. She says wind, I say wine, wine guard satellite um, in our RV here in our fifth wheel. It's showing no L and B voltage. Looking up on the internet, everybody seems to be having a problem with the short cable going from the L and B to the housing of the satellite dish. So I went to Walmart, bought a little $5 cable, threw it on there. Turns out that's not the problem. So let's see if we can't troubleshoot this. The way the satellite system works, and I'm no expert at this, we got to have 20 volts, anywhere from 15, I think, to 20 volts DC to power that LMB. So we're going to start at our power supply and see if we can't find the voltage and see if we do have voltage. So let's do that. This here is the power supply that'll power the satellite dish. So we're gonna come here. You may have to get a wrench to get this thing off. So to test this, you're gonna need a voltmeter and we're gonna put it in 40 volts DC. Make sure you have it in DC voltage. Find a place to put that. We're gonna put one of our leads to the outside casing of the connector here. And the other lead is gonna to touch the inside part of the coax. And if you'll look at the voltmeter there, Kelly. It's on there. We're showing we have 20 volts. So we got power there. Let's go see if we got power up top at the satellite. Before we go up top, when the satellite is in its stowed position, it's all the way down. It makes it a little more difficult to, especially if you're gonna change that cable out from the LMB to the housing. So we're gonna raise that satellite up and leave it in the up position. And let's show you how to do that. To get it up in the up position, you're gonna turn your wind guard on, connecting to antenna. When you hear it raise up, all we're gonna do is pull the power from this box. You can hear the satellite going up and it doesn't have to be fully up or whatever. You just wanna get it where you, all right, it's just about up. Sounds like it's up. Just pull the power where the power goes off on the box. Just a little connector on the back side, and it'll stay in that up position. Now, the cable I was talking about that everybody's having trouble with goes from here down to here. And as you can see, I ran to the store and already replaced it, and it didn't work. So my issue was not the cable. To replace this cable, you have this guard right here. I think it's five eighths uh, bolts here. Loosen these up, slide it up, take these two bolts out. That'll be able to pop that out, the L and B out, and you just reroute a cable and it plugs right into here. Since it's saying we still don't have any voltage, we know we got voltage down there. We need to check here to see if we're getting voltage up to here. We're on 40 volts DC. You can check it here. I just don't want to have to take all this off. So I want to see if I got it here before I go up to here. And as you can see, we're not getting any voltage. Nothing. Hopefully this cable ain't bad because I'd hate to have to route a new cable up here. So I have two satellite receivers in here, one for the living room and one for the bedroom. You only have to have one, I don't know if it's swim or whatever it is, power supply in line. So only one of your dishes will have the power supply. It's got a cable's got to go from here to both satellite dishes. So I've got to have a splitter somewhere. 
in this thing and there's no telling where that is. The guy in Colorado Springs installed all this for us and we'll put his kitchen on here. To and you can see the video eat. up there. I, it, the video she'll, of- She'll link the video to it. The guy does incredible job. He's really, as you can see, he's extremely neat and thorough. The only bad thing is he was so neat and neural, it took me 40 minutes to cut all the wire ties he had, <laughs> you know, getting everything neat and pretty. But let's go see if we can't find where our voltage is stopped from, from our swim box. It took a little while crawling all over this thing, but the way mine is installed is there is a splitter right here the cable he used existing cable so the cable from where my box is in the living room the cable from the box that's in our master bedroom closet go up and come in right behind the auxiliary satellite switch in the bedroom then it goes back up to the dish so I figured out that this is the cable coming from the living room. We need to see if we got voltage on it. Turns out we do. So either this splitter is bad or the cable going up to the roof is bad or both so I'm gonna check to figure out since here's the cable for this satellite I'm gonna put my lead on it turn my voltmeter to ohms I've got it on the ohms reading where it'll buzz anytime there's a short so I'm gonna figure out which one of these cables up here is this one So the cable that's still hooked up is the one that comes into here. So what I'm gonna do is rehook this up. And now if this splitter is good, I should have my voltage at the end of this cable, unless I've got two different coax cables bad, which is very highly unlikely. So we're gonna go back to 40 volts DC and now I should have 40 volts DC at the end of this cable. And I do not. I'm thinking this splitter is bad. Determine that for sure. All right, I got a little pass-through coupling here. I'm gonna bypass this splitter, see if I got power over here. Hmm. Now let's see if I got my 20 volts on this cable here. There's my voltage. So now I have voltage coming through, which tells me that splitter is definitely bad. Hopefully that's all that's bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a new splitter on here. And I'm gonna go up top and see if I got voltage and then we'll try to power everything on and see what happens. Yeah, we got voltage. So that's it. We're just gonna have to get a swim yeah. split. Well, I mean, we don't know that that's it. We gotta make sure it goes up and works, I know. Hopefully that's all, that's all it is. Let it run and do its thing. It'll take it a bit to find the... Hopefully, now that you know, I'll put a diagram on here. On, I'll draw up a diagram, get her to show a picture of it, and show you how all this works. Um, you, we have two satellite receivers. We have to supply power to that LM, LNB to um, power it. So you have a swim power supply. You only have one of them. It's either it's at one of the two um, receivers. You, um, so we're not getting power up here. We got to figure out where it stops at. Come to find out since we do have two satellite receivers that there was a T somewhere. We had to figure out where. Ours was right in the bedroom up above that um, satellite auxiliary plug and that's where he routed all the cables to which makes sense now find it but 
it took me about a half a day to figure out all the wires and how this thing was done. But he done a really good job on how he done it. So let's, um, right now we're gonna eliminate the one in the bedroom, see if we got everything working, see if we're, this thing will find a signal. Because we're going to the beach the end of this month and even though we don't spend a whole lot of time inside, when we are inside, I'd like to at least watch a little TV. To have a little dog that aggravates the crap out of you when you're trying to work. Won't let you work. You stop batting her and she just gets mad at you. She's like, oh no, you got a pet. <laughs> Are you in the way, Viville? Are you in the way, Viville? Let's see what it does. Still showing no LMB voltage. Then you're gonna have to call Wingard, huh? Let us do a little more research. We'll keep trying to figure it out so that you don't have to go through all this. The parts here. <laughs> How fast did it come? Two days. Two days. Two days. Or at least that's what we think this is. <laughs> like it just showed up on the front porch. <laughs> Psych! It says return label in box, so I would think that's what it is. That looks interesting. See, this is the box I was talking about. Really? Why don't they just send you this box and let you replace it? That's all there is to it other than the... Uh... Yeah, but it says do not remove. I guess it must be sealed. Yeah, but you can get to that without Oh. That. To follow the provided sequence specific instructions may damage the ODU electronic module and void wind guards part warranty. Do not leave it powered on during its solution. During its what? Um, oh. During its solution. Yeah, it's just that. That looks like a lot of work. You just have to undo all of this. And... But you can get to seal it all back. Yeah, I got the cellar up there. Oh, okay. Well, we got the part that they sent us from Weingard. I had to say that wrong, so I had to think about it. So, Bill's going to start working on getting this done. And there keeps being little rain showers, and we don't need to pull it all off with rain. Let's get going. Day, what day are we on now? Probably like five, day five. Somewhere, somewhere around that. He just likes to use the tractor. We gotta get the piece up to the top. So he's going to get the forks and a pallet so we can raise everything to the top so we don't have to carry it up and down. Don't judge the top of the camper. We know it's nasty. That's on our next list to do this week before we leave Saturday is to clean the whole camper because it hasn't been cleaned since the first of hunting season. Okay, that's, I'm happy there. <laughs> it's not all the way, but it's close enough for my heart. And this is the whole piece that you have got in the thing, right? Once you get it, you should be able to pull a lot of it off, right? Maybe. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I figure this is the point that's gonna suck. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> yeah. 
This is kind of fun for a few seconds. For a few seconds, and that's about it. Yep. I like peeling stuff off. That's what I said. Not a bolt. I done said that three times to you. I'm sorry. Will the new screws will go back in the same spot? I'm just asking all the questions that they're asking. Right? I thought it's really probably the hard part, but it was the fun part too. I liked it. It's kind of like popping bubbles or. For this to be a new one, it sure does look pretty rough. Yeah, I know. It's like already. That may have been us getting it dirty, but. Yeah, I bet you anything it's a refurbished. Refurbished. Oh, I said repurposed. <laughs> yeah, because it looks pretty rough. And ours looks better than this one. Uh, we'll remove this. You've got a connector for your box down there that controls the wind guard and then you just got your coax that hooks up under there you just got to make sure you disconnect this connector take your coax off it's hot we're in alabama take your dish off or your lmb housing and the dish off and they'll send you the whole entire base unit but you do have to take this off. It's only two connections you get. got. This, this one connector that controls the, she's got one controller board in there and two motors it looks like. Well, I ain't gonna say it looks like, it's what I think's in there. <laughs> and, um, and then the coax cable. And that's it. Let's see if we can hook it back up. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the nut. This is required. <laughs> mm. Oh, I got a video, man, read the instructions. <laughs> so far, we've done everything. Yay! Is it not the same? Oh. Got it.
like it right now. We're in the shade. Somewhat in the shade. I don't know what the hell you call shade. This ain't. I've been in the shade right there. You. You said we. <laughs> you got a little bit on you. You're a little shaded. <laughs> We're going to go back and try the original cable first. Because everybody said the cable's bad, so I replaced it. But since when Wine Guard said that the base was bad, put the um, old cable back on. That way we can try it and see if this cable is good before we replace it again. If you notice, we've got a little wire tie on both sides to keep it from sliding through there too far and getting pinched. Oh, our instructions. They They're right there, I can't get them. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> well, I guess we can power it on and see what happens. Oh, here we go. All right, that means it's fixing to start looking for satellite. It hasn't done its first turn yet. You know, that thing, sound, it looks like it's refurbished. Those motors sound worse than that thing than did in our other one. I agree. Looks like she's getting close. To find signal, what I'm gonna do, because I had everything tore apart. Right now, all I've got is one in the living room hooked up, the only um, receiver. Direct TV receiver hooked up. So if it finds signal, I'm gonna let it sit there for about 20 minutes because generally when you power it back on, it's gonna go to the previous place. So I want it to remember this location it's at if it finds signal. Once it does that, I'm gonna reset that box in there so it'll go through its reset power up stage, make sure it finds signal. It's been so long since these receivers have had signal, probably gonna have to call Direct TV, have them reping it. But I'm not gonna do that till the end. But if it has signal, then I'm gonna close it down, stow the satellite, and then I'm gonna hook everything else back up, the other receiver, the other receiver, hook the splitter and all that back up and have everything hooked up and see if it goes through its sequence and find signal again, then we'll be good to go if all that works out. Then I gotta put this whole entire fifth wheel back together that I've got tore apart. I've got everything tore apart, trying to trace wires down and figure out how everything was wired. Because when we had this done, we were in, it was outside of Colorado Springs in Manitou Springs. Manitou. We were actually at Manitou Springs campground and we left for the day. The company came in, the guy came in, did all this work. When we came back, he was loading stuff up, headed out. So I didn't get to see any of the install to see how he had it wired and all that. But I know how this thing's wired now. I know where every cable in this thing goes now. So. Yeah, and he's got to get it all back together because we got to get it all lo loaded, everything loaded in the camper because we're leaving a week from today. We're headed to Destin. Looks like it found something anyway. Yep, let's go check it. Ha ha! It says, it says swim. It says, uh, it says L. It's got like stars. I mean, it's got like, I guess it's found it. <laughs> yeah. Evidently, you didn't put it back. Is it in the bed? Did you take it to the bedroom? I didn't take it anywhere. You put it in there. Yeah. Yep, took it to the bedroom, didn't you? You did. <laughs> On our favorite TV. I hate this TV. But we're only gonna replace it unless it dies. <laughs> like you hate them. <laughs> I will never buy a Roku TV. <laughs> TLC. TCL. <laughs> TLC. That's a <laughs> channel loving care. <laughs> oh no, see I was thinking movie channel TLC. <laughs> So you think I take tender loving care, so I mean we well, see who the romantic person is and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna pause y'all for this because you don't wanna wait like 20 minutes for this to come up. We checked it. We got signal, so everything's working. It's been down for a while, so of course we're gonna have to call to have it 
reheat by direct tv so it'll come back on it's lunch time here so she's gonna cook us lunch and then we're gonna stow it away um, i'm gonna hook everything back up um, both receivers the splitter and all that and then we'll see if it still works with the splitter in there because the splitter may be bad that three-way splitter sim splitter but um We'll try it and we'll let you know how it comes out. Oh, I forgot it's on the side, you know. I love this remote for this TV. All right. We got everything working. So we just got to finish tightening up cables and putting the seal on the box up, or the satellite base up there. Just so you know, this receiver here in our den area, living area, has a swim power supply. You only need one one in a bedroom does not have it so when the cable goes from here into where it connects to the three-way which is on ours was right above here is where they tied it in make sure that the swim coming from the power supply comes in on this side of the out with the red line that shows the power pass through this cable over here, the end, will actually go to the actual satellite up top, the LMB and all that. The other cable will go to your other receiver that does not have the SWAM power supply. All right, we got some Dicor lap sealant here. Um, this is the non-leveling. I found it works best for raised bolts and all that, because you get the self-leveling, it just tends to run down and not give as good of a seal to me on there. But Dicor makes a good product and haven't had any issues with it. So we're going to slap some on here, hopefully get this thing sealed and the weather hold off and get everything down from here. Then the real work begins. I got to wash this thing, got to clean the roof, go around, check all the, all the seals, make sure none need to be t touched up with some Dicor and I know I got a spot in this back corner. I got to retouch up the ceiling on it and we'll go from there. And hopefully next weekend, we'll actually have some satellite TV while we're camping out. I'm gonna head down and finish up this video. See you down there. Well, starting tomorrow for you, next Saturday for us, we will be leaving for Destin and um, then we'll have all those videos coming up. But somewhere in the middle of those videos, we have a product coming in on Tuesday. I do not know when it's gonna launch. It's a new product. It is, and so we, a company is sending it up to us to review it. And I'm so excited because it's going to be our first product review for a company and it's actually a really big company too so I'm kind of really excited about that so you're gonna to have to watch I wish I could tell you what it was but I can't it's a secret because it's something that hasn't been released yet but it is to do with our RV so um, that's exciting and we will probably film that while we're in Destin uh, because like I said I don't know when the product's coming out, but we cannot release it till the release date. So we will keep you up to date on that. So be watching for the new product review. I guess the next time you should see us, should be, we'll be headed to Destin. Till next time, please like and subscribe. And, and I wanna say welcome to all our new family. We have gotten a lot of new subscribers here in the last few months and we are so excited to grow this channel and we're excited this past wednesday for y'all which is coming up wednesday is mine and bill's anniversary i hope you got to see our video about our story our life we were already an adventure couple before that can't wait i'm so excited to go camping i don't know what's going to be open but i don't really care as long as we go get to stay in a park 
I'm excited. Till next time, like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.